So for this example, this is another simple interest type of problem. Except instead of asking for the actual interest, they want the actual amount due on a loan of 800 9% interest at the end of four months. This is different than the last problem that I showed you, where we actually just calculated the interest. So what I'm doing now is not only am I going to find how much interest you've accumulated, I'm also going to tag that on to what you actually owe. So in this particular problem, we already know we owe, we took out a loan for $800. So we have to pay that back. On top of that $800, how much more am I paying back though also? Well, the interest formula, remember, I was equal to PRT. And we're going to call this amount due. We're going to call it the letter A, the variable A, which will stand for our, basically our balance or our ending balance or our amount due. So this is the balance. And we can see that A should be equal to, well, how much money did we borrow? $800. Remember, we call the 800 the P. So we know that A should be equal to P. And how much are you going to owe? Well, you're going to owe P plus your interest I. So you're going to owe P plus I. We can simplify the formula to be this. We know I is, so we have P plus, we know I is PRT. Using a little bit of algebra, both of these parts of the equation have a P in it. So we can factor that out. And we're going to get an N formula looks like this. Factoring out a P, you're going to get 1 plus RT. So this is how we calculate the amount due on a loan or the balance of a loan, or the balance of any kind of thing that you borrow money from. So when we calculate it using simple interest, we know that A here is equal to, the amount borrowed here was $800 times one plus the rate of this loan is 9%. Paying 9% interest, so that'll be expressed the decimal as 0.09 times T, well, you're paying off this loan in four months. So your T, remember that the right T expressed is years, it's going to be four divided by 12. Four divided by 12 is one third, if you want to call it that. I'm just going to type this into a calculator now. So we do, and here's what we do first in this. We're actually going to calculate this part of the equation first. Calculate 0.09 times one third first. So 0.09 times one third, that's equal to 0.03. And then I'm going to add it to, so I get this, 800 times one plus 0.03. And I'm going to add that to one. So plus 0.103. So I get this now, A is equal to 800 times 1.03, and I'm going to multiply that by 800. So A in the end is equal to $824. So if I ask you this question, first thing, the end of the balance you're going to pay, the final amount you're going to pay is $824. How much money are you actually paying in interest for this? Well, we can see. You had to pay back 800 total, but on top of that, you paid an additional $24 from that. So to find the actual interest in this, you can calculate I is equal to the ending balance A minus your principal P. In this case, it would be A24, which is your ending balance A, minus the $24, minus the P, which was $800, and that's equal to $24. So you pay $24 in the interest here.